Namaste. Kundalini Mahashakti is our next class coming up. And this video is a small uh, brief explanation about what Kundalini Mahashakti is. Kundalini Shakti is the female energy which resides in every human being, whether you are a male or a female. It resides at the base of the spinal cord. And when this energy is activated, it's a dormant energy. When it is awakened, either with a practice or sadhana or a guru's initiation or some particular situation also can activate this energy. It travels up, it rises up the spinal cord or the sushumna nadi which is within the spinal cord and it reaches the male energy above the head on the sahasrara chakra which we call Shiva. So it is when Shakti meets uh, Shiva and with this union you experience absolute bliss. Perānandam we call it in Tamil. So the bigger bliss, the absolute bliss and that is why Kundalini meditation is uh, considered to be the most powerful meditation. Now let us uh, understand, you would have seen uh, so many uh, videos about it, so many you would have heard people talking about Kundalini. There are so many fears that are created in the minds of people about Kundalini meditation. It does not have to be like that at all. In our system, we practice Kundalini meditation, we activate the Kundalini Shakti and also practice the meditation. Very happily, very smoothly, we enjoy that energy and uh, we really experience beautiful energy when we do this and we have good experiences also when we do this meditation. In fact, our Siddhas, they attained the Samadhi state only by practicing Kundalini meditation. So let us uh, understand a little bit about the Kundalini meditation. Why should one practice Kundalini meditation? This is a question which may come up in your mind also. Many people have asked me. They say we are doing Alpha meditation or we are doing some other meditation and I am feeling good. So why should I do Kundalini meditation? That is the question. There are two main reasons. Of course, there are many reasons I can give you, but two main reasons which we can consider now. The first reason is the experience that you get. Of course, any meditation will make you calm, will make you happy and it gives you a pleasant feeling. There is no doubt about that at all. But with Kundalini meditation, when the proper sadhana is done and the Kundalini energy rises and then it comes down, then the person experiences such a bliss, such a silence in the mind. That kind of a silence you never experience with any other meditation. And when that silence is experienced, you are almost in the Samadhi state. That is how our Siddhas attained Samadhi state because every time the Kundalini rises, it, it does a beautiful dance and then it settles down, then you experience the total silence, which is the bliss that you experience there. So the first reason I would say is to experience that kind of a bliss, that Samadhi state. Of course, our Siddhas were able to remain in that Samadhi state for hours and days together. Maybe we can't do that. But even if we experience it for a few seconds or a few minutes, I think it's uh, something great, something wonderful. So for that reason, Kundalini Mahashakti meditation is the best. You will have such a beautiful experience when you practice it. And also when you do Kundalini meditation, the senses, the five senses become very, very good. With the new, they get, uh, they become very sharp. So perception becomes very good. When you do Kundalini meditation, when you practice it, immediately after the meditation, I, as I said, there is the silence, the Samadhi state. Many things in your life start becoming clear to you. There is more clarity in the mind because the sensitivity, the perception becomes sharper. And this is not only when you do the meditation. If you are practicing it on a regular basis, let's say, then throughout in your life, you will find that the way your mind thinks, the way your mind grasps anything, the way your mind takes decisions, everything becomes much better because you are operating from a higher level of energy, a more powerful state of mind. So that is how it works. So the experience of the meditation itself, I would say, it comes under the first reason. And then the benefits of that experience is that your mind is sharper more clear with more clarity you can take decisions you can function 
So your performance in any work that you do, if you are a student, if you are studying also, it will be absolutely much, much better than what it was before. So the experience of practicing Kundalini Shakti Dhyanam is a wonderful experience. So that is one reason. Now the second main reason is that your manifesting powers become more when you practice Kundalini Mahashakti meditation. Many, many people believe this myth that if you practice Kundalini or if you activate the Kundalini energy, then you will lose all interest in life and you will become a sannyasi or you will just walk away from life. This is what many people say and many people believe, but let me tell you, it's absolutely wrong. It's not true at all. I can tell you with a lot of conviction that that is absolutely wrong. With Kundalini meditation, you can actually manifest so many things in life. You do not have to give up everything and go. That is a kind of myth that has been spoken by many, many people. But that's not true at all. I can tell you that in all these years, I've initiated so many people with Kundalini meditation, awakened the Kundalini. They have experienced wonderful bliss. Apart from that, they have also found that manifesting their goals becomes easier when they practice Kundalini meditation because it's like a 100 watts bulb becoming a 1000 watts bulb. So you have more power, more energy. So what you visualize with little bit of power when you practice any meditation itself can manifest in life. But when your power is more, when you go into a deeper level of meditation, you experience Samadhi state and as you're coming out of it, at that level of consciousness with more clarity in the mind, when you, manif when you visualize any goal, imagine how nicely or how quickly it would manifest, how powerfully you can manifest. So that is why it's very important that you understand, learn and practice Kundalini meditation also. One more reason of course is that Kundalini meditation, it's like a, a milestone in the spiritual career or spiritual growth of any person. Because if you tell somebody that you're meditating, you're a meditator, most often they will ask you, do you practice Kundalini meditation? Have you, have you done Kundalini? Because it's like, you know, did you finish your studies? Did you get your degree? It's like that. So that is why once you are in the, in the spiritual, on the spiritual path and you have started meditating, then you look for better experiences in meditation and Kundalini meditation is the one which can give that to you. Apart from that, you need to also make your life better. I always say life is not only spiritual growth. There has to be materialistic growth also. Both ways one should grow 200%. Only then tomorrow when you look back, you will feel content with the life that you have lived. So that way, when you practice Kundalini meditation, you grow very fast spiritually and you manifest a lot more powerfully. So both ways you will benefit a lot. So do learn and practice Kundalini Mahashakti meditation and you will see the transformation happening within yourself. You will see how your five senses work. You will see how your mind functions. You will see how good your meditations are. And you will also see how good your manifesting powers are and how powerful your mind is. So all that is worth doing, worth practicing Kundalini meditation. So I welcome you to our Kundalini Mahashakti meditation class. So come there, see for yourself what a beautiful experience it is.